So, y'all like magic? Well, how about movie magic? Well, I sure hope so because you all keep asking for more. So that is why in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make the famous Zack King egg bounce effect. And the best part about this effect is that these techniques are the same ones that he uses across the majority of his videos. So all of that stuff and more coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click that subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. To make this effect, we need to start with recording the actual footage. So I lit up my kitchen area as evenly as possible and framed it up so it looked all nice and stuff. Then, once I have all of this stuff set up, do not touch the camera or change anything in the scene. Don't do it because it'll literally just ruin it all. Now for the first shot, I had my friend Freddy bounce the ball a few times to show that it was indeed a ping pong ball. Then he bounced it off the cutting board and into the center of the pan. This one took a few tries. Our cutting board is kind of not flat anymore. It's, it's more bowed. So yeah, we had, to, we had to deal with that. Then once we finally got that first shot, all we had to do for the second shot, we cracked an egg into a cup and then turned on the stove. Then we held the cup over the center of the pan and raised it high up just so we were like out of frame and then dropped the egg into the pan as accurately as possible. So now that we've done all that, it is time to jump into DaVinci Resolve. By the way, if you just wanna follow along before going out and shooting the footage, you can download the footage I shot for free via a link in the description. Anyway, now on our timeline, I'm gonna grab our first clip of the ping pong ball bouncing and then drag it onto the timeline like this. Then I'm gonna move forward and find the position where the ball touches the pan. Then we're gonna add a freeze frame right here by clicking on the clip and hitting Control R to pull up the retime controls. Now hit this drop down arrow right here and hit freeze frame. So this red part right here is the freeze frame. Now I'm gonna grab the second clip of the egg splat and drag it onto video layer two. Now when I play it back, you can actually see the egg falling from above and Freddy's right here, but honestly, it doesn't matter because movie magic. Now just cut down our first video clip so that it matches to our second one like this. So now to make this effect actually look good, just like Zach King did, we have to jump into the color tab and do some masking because Zach King is actually known for his stealthy masking. He's a master with masking and also jump cuts and that's how he mainly makes most of these videos. So let's go into the color tab. Now I'm gonna open up the window panel right here and click on the circle mask, then resize it to the shape of the pan by using these points. Now once we've done that, we can right click on the node graph right here and go to add alpha output. Then just connect our alpha outputs together. So now we can just jump back into the edit tab and check out what we have made. All right, so there you have it, the Zach King egg bounce effect. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share it with your friends so that they can learn some movie magic themselves. Do you wanna see more Zach King effects just like this? Well, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you actually have it, drop a link to it there also so I can see what effect it is. Now, I just wanna say one thing. Thank you guys so much for the 44,000 subscribers or 45,000, I have no clue. Guys, this is insane. It's such an honor for me to be able to share with you guys this knowledge and to help you all. I love this, this is so amazing. You all are so amazing. So thank you, I just, words cannot describe it. So anyway, if you want more videos like this, click on the top playlist for all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, or click on the bottom for a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.